Hello everybody. AOG Gaming here, back with another video on MTG Arena. So, um, I decided to go, not a mean way, because I'm not milling the opponent, but it's a self, self mill deck. Um, so really the only way they can counter us is if they have a ton of counter spells, but... Um, we do have some counter spells ourselves too, just a couple. Um, change the equation. It's just like counter target spell with mana value 2 or less, or counter target red or green spell. It's not the best. I think I would kind of want to change it. Um, I do have Tainted Indulgence though. It makes us draw cards and discard cards, which is what we need anyway. I have 47 permanents. So, okay. So, let me show you the main combo of the deck. Alright. We're supposed to fight with the ancient one and use the sword of one sin future to basically outvalue our opponents with cheap spells that are two mana or less um so i have tyrant scorn instant destroy target creature with mana value three or less return target creature to its owner's hand uh tainted indulgence is drawing and discarding or i can just keep those cards eventually so that's great um, I can discard a card with this so I don't have to pay the 3 life and I get to destroy a target creature or planeswalker which is amazing. If I'm able to discard um, enough to power the ancient ones then I basically have a 2 mana 8-8s eight eights that can attack. Um, they don't have haste which is fine. Um, yeah maybe... wait wait so how many instant sorcerers do we have? 1, 2... So 8... Yeah, I could change this with Satoru Gojo. Not Satoru Gojo, whatever his name is. Um, Because then they enter tapped and attacking, right? As you do the uh, ninjutsu. But it makes them cost more. Here, wait. Satoru. Oh, wait. Sorry. Do that. We do Satoru, right? Yeah. Umezawa. Oh, he's three mana only. Hmm. Oh, how many rare cards? I have two. I think I get rid of a couple changes to the equation. So I get rid of the Jix. Because Ninjutsu is actually really good if I'm able to do that. Um, because it doesn't matter. The Ancient One will be fine. So that's just another way of doing it. Just in case if they try and kill it uh, as soon as possible. And uh, I will take out one Surge Engine there. And then I'll put two of these in here. Take out one of these. And uh, yeah, that should be enough. Okay, well, those were my rare cards, but I think that's better. Um, each creature card will have ninjutsu, so I have a decent amount of creatures, right? Ten creatures. Actually, that's not as many as I thought it was. Um, but permanence is really what we have, so we have 27 permanence. Uh, seven artifacts. But uh, the construct counts as a creature, which is weird that it's doing that. Um, three construct, three construct. Yeah... Wait, that's weird that it's doing that. I don't know. <laughs> so it may look like it's bad, but we actually have a decent amount of creatures. It's it's pr pretty balanced. So let's just play with it. Um, it's a historic deck, obviously. So you know how that's going to be. <laughs> you know how that's going to be. I called it blue and black because it's, you know, beachy blue and black or black and blue. I think it's black and blue. That's what the saying is. <laughs> Oh, I go first? Okay, so we have two mana, so this is actually perfect. Um, play this. We play our uh, island. Or play this as an island, because we'll eventually get a swamp for this. Okay, it gains a life. Oh, uh, yeah, island, and then we play this thing. It's. It, I mean, Surge Engine is just so good. You can't really build a deck where you want to attack with a sword unless you're using surge engine especially if you're playing blue because it's just amazing um okay so we got another island hmm. i think we put the satoro because if we get the sword we can ninjutsu the ancient one after we put the sword on the battlefield oh no but we don't get to equip it to it but we do get to ninjutsu so it's just a way to uh deal damage right okay i'll leave that on top I don't think I'm going to do anything. Oh, okay, well. 
All right. Uh, that was pretty quick. Okay. I wanted to use the sword some more. I went back and uh, like just used my mythic wild cards that I eventually got. Okay. Three. Okay, actually, this is fine. We don't have the ancient one in hand, but we do have the virtue persistence, so we have a kill spell. Yeah, I mean, it's like we don't have a two drop, but oh, okay. So now we have options. Okay, I'll play this, but he probably has a kill spell. I'm okay with it. Whatever. Destroy target creature man value three or less or something like that. Yep. I'll go for throw. Yeah. That's why I have this uh, surge engine as well because we're going to be facing a lot of blue black, and that's pretty much what they have. Yep, protection from black and blue. I can just kill stuff with this, so if he plays any creatures. Okay, yeah. There we go. Um, okay. Play this as land. We do that. Uh, return it to their owner's hand. Yeah, actually, we do this. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what we do. Kill their stuff if they're gonna kill my stuff. Oh, okay, so he's literally just a token deck. Um, uh, no, no, I passed the turn. I do have an instant, so. Okay, whenever one or more. Okay, literally just a token vampire deck. Wow. With the perfect first hand that he got. Alright, we're, we're being shot on by this deck. This is ridiculous. We just got two swords and a couple of kill spells. That's all he gave us. I think that's it. If we don't get a creature... What does it do? Uh, draw a card. Okay, yeah, no. He's, he's way ahead now. This is done. Of course that wasn't fun. You pretty much just gave me a counter to my deck. I love how they do that, right? <laughs> it's really awesome that they finally... I saw the video done by the, uh, I forgot the lady's name, but she works at Witch of the Coast and the uh, MTG original decks, that YouTuber also covered it. It's pretty sad that a corporation would be that scummy in their tactics. It's pretty much just a way to, like, ruin the game for everybody. It's the reason why the game just slowly dies over time, or people really only come back for the new sets. I've been going first a lot. I'll just play this tapped, because I don't have a one drop. Okay. I guess we'll scry one. I'm okay with kill spells for now. Yep, okay, that's fine. Um, this is an island. I guess we draw two? No, we don't do that yet. I guess we just pass. Because we can kill stuff or counter stuff. They have red and green. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, six or less. There we go. And we can cast it next time with our uh, spells and stuff. Okay, we play this as a swamp. And we play the Sword of One in the Future. That's the most va mana value we could do. I could have minus three, minus three that, but uh, yeah, I could have done. Oh, but I can do it on this thing now. He gets a token though, which is annoying. Ooh, Agnes is pretty cool. That's a cool card. Viashino Warrior. That's cool. Um, we have one. Those are five or more mana values. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's fine by me. I'm gonna draw two, and then discard a card. Um, this is a permanent. I guess we discard this for now. It's fine. Because these are returning stuff, so if it's big or if it's small, we can pretty much kill it. <laughs> if it's like, yeah, if even it's four, we're returning to their hand. That's still, like, most of their mana. They have six this turn, though, so they, they can play something big. 
I haven't gotten any creatures, so that sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's gonna be annoying. Um, come on, where are the creatures? Good thing we have a lot of lands, because I'm just gonna play this as a card. You're not gonna play anything? Okay. I guess we play this. So we just get their stuff, unless they have a counter. Cause like they're they're doing this creature treasure token and being ten or more. Okay, so he has one. He's not gonna sacrifice his treasure tokens. I'm assuming. He's a treasure token deck. Seems like it. So black, red, and green. Viashino is pretty cool, but I get it next turn, and then I get the tireless provisioner. Oh, okay, that's a very good card. We have the Viashino. Yeah. Ooh, okay. We have the Satoro now, and then we equip this to the Viashino. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna do this and just discard a Tyrant Scorn. I don't care at this point. Uh, yeah, it's in our graveyard anyway. We can cast it with the uh, with the other thing. It's gonna deal damage. I'm gonna be able to do this. Um, okay, so we put this in the graveyard. We leave this. Okay. Um. I have to discard a card in addition. Okay, so I'll discard a Surge Engine to destroy target creature Planeswalker. That's not going to help me. I get to do this, though. Keep drawing? Yeah, I'll keep drawing and discarding. Okay, so we discard you. Because we have the Ancient One now. Um, yeah. That's going to suck, but that's okay. That's exactly what we want. Okay, we have seven cards. We have one, two, three permanents in our graveyard. I get three damage every turn. Actually, five damage. I'm able to equip. <laughs> it's really annoying, isn't it? Okay. Um, so, yeah, we equip it to this. Are you going to destroy all creatures? Okay. Um... Create another tap treasure token. Five damage. It's gonna be really annoying for him. He has three treasure tokens. Um okay, we leave the Satra on top. We put this in the graveyard, we don't need that for now. And uh I will draw two cards. And then draw this. Uh we can't discard the Satra, so I will discard a land, yeah. Okay, so how many permanent? Oh wait, I can just see. We have five. Uh, we can play the ancient one now, or the Satoro. No, I'll end the turn, cause he's not gonna let us attack with the Satoro. But I can at least play the Satoro, fight with the Agnes, and then it's uh ten damage with the ancient one in total, and the Agnes is still gonna be attacking. Or yeah, because I'm not, I just get it for free with the virtue persistence. So I think he might be ne dead next turn, because ninjutsu. I can just activate this immediately. Each creature in my hand does ninjutsu. Planar bridge is pretty broken though. He has eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has nine mana, but he only has three treasures. So if he can make seven right now, he wins the game next turn. But he might just die. Oh, Zergo Hellmaster with haste and indestructible. Yeah, well, he's just going to deal 7 damage. I don't care about that. Also, <laughs> I can just kill it. I'm just going to say good game. So the Ancient One will be able to be blocked, but I'll be able to kill his thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, actually, I'll do it now. So we discard the Scorn's Tyrant, right? Or just return it to his hand, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna suck for you, buddy. He's gonna give it protection or something, or he's gonna destroy all creatures. Okay. Um yeah, I'll resolve it. I get I get him back anyway. That's the, the, 
doesn't matter. Oh, it has protection from black. Ah, <laughs> you didn't read the card. Sort of one to future. Okay. Resolve. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I get this. Okay, so I don't have enough. Oh, I'm so close to getting that. So we could do this, destroy our own creature. We still get to deal five damage to him. So yeah, actually here. Blue. We go black. Um, and then we do this. Discard a card. I will just kill this. Because it has so many sickness anyway, so I can't even use it. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, but he has less treasure. Okay. Um, I don't know what he has in his hand, but he could kill everything. Alright, well, I'll just risk it for the Satoru. Yeah, I could have gone with the ancient one, but it wouldn't have killed him. He's still at. Okay. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, destroy target creature with men. Yeah, that's not gonna help me. Decline. And I end the turn. I need two more! I need two more. We almost had the combo. I think I need a little bit more creatures in the deck. So maybe I'll add a little bit more surge engines, but... Or just like one more. Because I feel like we're getting a little bit more spells than the creatures. It has to be a fine balance. Um, and I think I take out an ancient one. Because I'll, I'll just draw into the ancient one, if anything. By the time I have it. Yeah, it's going to destroy that. But he's going to use his treasure tokens, so that's not going to matter for me. I get this. Um, I guess we play this. We just spam his abilities. Can I pull, do the last one? Okay, I can't. Um, I could play this thing, but it's not really going to matter, so... Oh yeah, he can't block. I forgot. Um, put one in our graveyard. Oh, okay, so perfect. I'll put the Takanuma in our graveyard. And, uh... Discard a card? Yeah, I have to discard a card. But I can do this. And return it to his hand. <laughs> Good game, brother. Uh, yeah, I'll end the turn. Ah, oh, I really wanted to use the Ancient One, but okay. Well, I mean, we're still doing what the deck is supposed to, which is use the Sword of Once in Future to... Cast stuff from our graveyard. I might take out a land too, because we have very cheap cards, I just realized, since we're doing like two mana creature spells and stuff. Because the thing is, the ancient one is two mana as well, so two mana spells, like this just makes your curve very cheap. So yeah, this discard is insanely busted when it's paired up with a couple of discard stuff. Oh, discover five. Okay. He's doing some stuff. I see. Do your thing. I can't stop you there. I'm just gonna emote on him. The only emote I have. <laughs> um. Yeah, we just get the surgery in the back. <laughs> We got another surge engine back. We got this thing down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just start playing everything. I don't know if he had all kill spell stuff, but like... Apparently that's what we keep facing, even though we're mostly uh, creature based. Okay. So I'm just gonna go real quick before we enter the game. Okay, so what should I t get? Okay, so this has been less useful. Okay, well no. Minus three, minus three is actually better. But I, I'm not going to be using that too often. Okay, so we do that. We do Surge again. So we have one more Surge. I think that should be fine. We have 11 creatures, 15 instants. I think that should be fine. We'll see. Um, the thing is, like, we don't have an insane amount of draw in the deck. We have a decent amount. Maybe if I played, uh... 
Yeah, maybe I should just play that card. Um, Jake's Fire Extreme Predator. I keep going first. This is amazing. Okay, this is this the a ridiculous amount of times I've gone first. Okay. Play the black to show them we got the black. We're not gonna play the soft throw Gojo turn three if that's what you're thinking. I'm just playing the Surge Engine and pass it. If he kills it, he kills it. That's that's the whole point of the deck. If my stuff dies, it's okay. <laughs> Surge Engine will do all the work for me. Unless he kills it. Which then it doesn't, but it counts as a permanent. We put an extra in the deck and we got it back. Uh, I think we do this. Okay. Then we draw two cards. Hmm. Permanent cards. Okay, so we can do one Satoru. And... Huh. Unless you control two more lands. Uh, I'll do an island, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you can only discard one? Okay, well, I'll do the Satoru first then, yeah. Because I don't know if I'm going to gain another land, but there's th two more Satoru's in the deck. I don't know if he has a discard or anything. Oh. Up to one target, you get to minus two, minus one. That's... Okay. That works, yeah. I'll stop when I get my answer. Okay, four mana. Um, I guess we could do that and just discard the ancient one. Actually, I'll just pay three life. I'm done That's here. fine by me. Uh, and then I'll play the ancient one since he's being mean. It doesn't seem like he has a lot of kill stuff, but now he's going to have to deal with that. And the surge engine is just going to be unblockable next turn. So I have nothing else to play. Also, if he kills it anyway... I realize this. I should just play the Ancient One out for two mana. Because they... Like, no, it's not... It doesn't matter right now. Oh, actually, we have a... Destroy target creature with value mana three or less. Okay, we could kill it. Okay, we do this. Make it unblockable. We destroy a creature. Just kill their stuff, right? I guess they might have return stuff, but it doesn't matter. We would we would have played the next ancient one and got that into our graveyards. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. I went first pretty much every turn. We only got countered once, so that was that was pretty good. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's open one pack before I end. We go to uh, regular pack. So I want to get a rare card, okay? Let's see what I get. Ah, uh, oh no, that's a good card, I think. Untap creatures control target opponent. Oh, okay. So if you have a lot of, actually, this is very good for two mana. Creatures choose target opponent. Whenever creature you control deals combat damage to that player this turn, create a tapped treasure token. I can even put the uh, sword in this deck, the Great Train Heist. This is insane, actually. I can just put the sword in the red deck and it have a have a lot of discard and draw and like uh Yeah, a lot of draw and discard. Red has a lot of draw and discard as well, just like black, so Honestly I can put in a red black deck and then I'm I have kill stuff and okay that's insanely good. Maybe we'll do that as well. <laughs> um I need to get I have one rare thing, so yeah, so I only have two of them. Alright, well we'll we'll get some more rare. We'll grind. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching as always. AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you the my content. Join your five subscribers this time. I check so you all are amazing. Keep going. Um, yeah. Having fun. But uh, I'm really glad that they're addressing the issues. And everyone is like. Not happy about it. Or they're at least addressing it. So that Wizards of the Coast knows. And if they continue doing it, they well, I don't know if they're losing money. Are they? I don't know. Well, anyway, see you all in the next video.